Hi, everybody. This is Nick Lang with the National Concrete Masonry Association here again with your Tech Tip Tuesday. Today, I'd like to talk a little bit about segmental retaining walls, or SRWs, and some of the limitations that are out there relative to height of those structures. We actually have a tech note that covers this. I'm sorry, an FAQ for your last question that covers this in a lot of detail, which is FAQ 7-14, talking about height restrictions with segmental retaining wall construction. Uh, important to keep in mind that these are only general guidance and you should always be uh, consulting with a qualified SRW designer. A lot of times you can get this from the, the SRW uh, the system that you're using, uh, the, the supplier of that. But generally when we're talking about uh, SRW walls, there's two different types. There's gravity walls, which don't use any geosynthetic reinforcement, and reinforced walls that do. Uh, with a gravity wall, you're typically limited up to three to four feet, depending on the soil conditions and that type of stuff. Reinforced walls can certainly go higher. The International Building Code requires a building permit for any earth retention structure, including segmental retaining walls that are over four feet in total height, but you also want to make sure to always consult with a uh, with your local building code because there may be some specific res restrictions there as well. And finally, I want to talk about terraced or tiered SRW walls. Uh, these are when you have two walls that are kind of separated from each other. Um, as a rule of thumb, we need to keep these a distance of uh, this D value in this, in this little figure. The distance between the SRW should be at least twice uh, the height of the lower tier in order for them to act independently. So, Hope this helps you to understand some of the, the limitations. If you want to know more about it, you can check out this uh, uh, FAQ 7-14. And like I said, always consult with an engineer if you're not sure. Uh, so that's it for this week's Tech Tip Tuesday. If you have another question, we'd be happy to address it. Just leave it in the comments, and we'll talk to you again next week. Bye-bye.